Well, hey, how you doing? So I'm the middle-aged minimalist. Nice to see you again. This will be video two. Took possession, got the keys. Talked to a couple people what needs to be really put together before I start, I guess, nesting or bringing things in. Um, understanding the propane, understanding the water, understanding the heating mechanics and the air mechanics of uh, this again. So it's a 1988 Holiday Rambler, I believe. <laughs> You should probably know what the thing is. What is this thing? I think that's what it is. Yeah. So I got the paperwork and went through reading some of the paperwork that came with it. Going to spend tonight doing that. Um, rapidly realized what impulses are. And I'm going to have to control these impulses. Uh, most of my friends will admit, yeah, I'm impulsive, but okay. This is an exercise in stupidity and hopefully that you'll learn this. Um, you don't need new appliances when you have the old ones. And again, they are what they are, but you know, storage space is what it is. It's at a premium. And so do I really want that? And yet I was out, did the walkthrough, learned from another video guy. Do a walkthrough of it every day. And I discovered massive storage compartments that I didn't realize were that. They're just massive storage compartments. So I'm still stressed about how much has to go in, but that kind of took a lot of the stress right off of it of, wow, I thought I could only put in here. And while I have all that more room, that's not that much more junk. It's just, well, now my seasonal issue is taken care of. I'll have to spend a little money, but like those vacuum bags that you put all your seasonal clothes in and suck the air out, a friend said, just put your clothes in a Rubbermaid and throw them in. No, but take the air out and then they're resistant to the weather and uh, I can do that. Um, so I'll be able to keep my winter stuff. Uh, I enjoy the outdoors all year long, spring, summer, fall, winter, and I'd like to think that I have all the right clothes for that. Well, I've discovered I have a lot more than the right clothes for that. I have too many clothes. But uh, a lot of the clothes I wear are the clothes that I keep wearing. And then I have seasonal stuff. And then I have stuff that I never wear. So a lot of my friends will be getting some cool gifts. Uh, I'll be paying forward a lot of that, donating a lot. I'm looking at downsizing probably, I mean, at least 50%. But I'm looking at 90% downsizing. Uh, I'm just kind of looking through here, seeing what's going on. Um, there's there's going to be a lot to to talk about, a lot to show you. Looking forward to it. I'm excited about this. I'm not scared, and yet I should be, but I'm not. Um, I have good friends. Uh, not, not poo -poos, just good friends who will even just listen and call it a day, but a lot of good input. And, uh, so to all my friends that were part of the test video, the first video, um, thank you for your comments. Thanks for your support. Thank you for your friendship. Above all. Because what I'm rapidly learning is all these possessions don't mean anything if you don't have friends. And it's not even friends to share it with. True friends don't care if you have anything or if you've got everything. And hopefully more and more people are going to start learning that and understanding that. Yes, Dad, I'll change out the pink windows and the pink frilly thing. Yeah, I'll take care of it. One step at a time. I should not have made fun of my dad. Uh, nightclub dad. Anyway, I will not divulge character names. I'm sorry. Anyway, enjoy the videos that we're going to do. Yeah, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bang out a video a day. Uh, even if it's just an accomplishment. Even if it's one of my foibles. Uh, trial or tribulation. Uh, whatever experience that I can f pass forward to other people who are, are doing this. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get input. People wanted to make comments on the page, and I don't, I've never, 
I had a YouTube page a long time ago, but I didn't do it. So somebody else did. Um, I'll learn how to do that. I'll figure it out. I haven't brought in computers or laptops or anything. I'm just running everything off an iPhone. And um, uh, got a 750-watt inverter going to plug in to figure out how I can just keep all the DC stuff. You know, the laptop powered, the phone's charged, etc. So that uh, while all this is going on, just tucked up, I guess. I think what I'll do is tuck it up there. But uh, all my, uh, you know, my daily stuff. Uh, the battery packs, your phones, all the stuff that needs to be on a regular charge. And then figure out when the best time is. I know I can get about six hours off my MacBook. I got a MacBook Pro. I don't know much about it. You know, I can do video. And all. I don't know how to do any of that. Um, not my curricular vitae. Uh, that was the wrong word. That's not my resume. Um, not in my theater of operations. I'm not a computer guy, but got some good friends and they're going to help me with some computer stuff and got other good friends going to help me with the propane and understanding the water and the electrical 12 volt to or I'm sorry DC to sorry I'm not saying it right 110 to 12 volt AC to DC um, I need to learn these things and amps watts volts ohms it's I need to learn that stuff I don't yet know it but I'll learn it and uh, they're going to help me with that here in the course of this week. And uh, Again, I'm going to do daily videos, but by this weekend, I'm going to start bringing stuff in. Get through my normal day at work. At night, you know, people are saying, you know, do a box an hour. It was 24, bo uh, 24 boxes a day. Da, da, da. Pick up one item. Then, you know, 27 items a day you got to throw out. I'm not going to set goals like that because I'm just setting myself up to failure. I'll get done what I get done on the day. And then I'll check it off and do the next thing the next day, and so on and so on. But the goal now is today's January 29th, day two, uh, originally 28 days. Those of you who get the joke will get it. You know, people get sober in less time. Well, I'm going to minimize in less time. So 28 days. So before the end of February, I'll have everything moved in. And... Uh, you know, then really begin the journey, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to taking all of you with me on this. And again, uh, I am the uh, middle-aged... <laughs> I am the middle-aged minimalist. And uh, till next time, we'll see you on the dark side of the moon.